Welcome. Today I would like to show you how to do an efficiency measurement of a bug converter and create a report of, out of this. Little bit basic, a bug converter or also called step down converter is a voltage converter which converts a from a higher voltage to a, a, a lower voltage with a very high efficiency. Compared to, to linear voltage regulators where the voltage is, is, is and the energy is burned and produces a lot of heat, uh, here back or step down converters work via a very fast internal uh, switching controlled over a pulse wide modulated signal and the output uh, filtering and ring will reduce the, the ripple and the, the, the and create a very high efficiency. Now let's have a static look at for this test. Here at this test we have now a constant input power and a constant output power, approximately 120 watt input, 103 watt uh, output. The voltage is is converted from 30 volt down to 15 volts, so approximately half of of it and we could already see between input and output power we have losses this is the p tot so 18 watts approximately are now burned uh, inside this uh, converter which gives an overall efficiency of approximately 85 uh, percent on the next graph i i wish we see this in the, the dynamic behavior so we could see here with the input model, the tree and power model, we measure the voltage and the current at a very high sampling rate, approximately 100 uh, kilo samples. And we could see the blue one for here on the output. This is the, the current, the red one is the voltage. And we use here statistic channels to, to smooth and average the, these values to get a, a stable point also for our uh, efficiency uh, map later. So when I now go to the next step, because this is the, the dynamic, go to the next, we would like to draw then, let's say the efficiency P dot and the input power over the output power in a XY diagram. For this one, I will now uh, change the, my output to uh, a variable load so that we can really draw the efficiency over the uh, over output power. So I'm going to, to start this now. And I will also start a recording. So we could see here again the diagram. On top is the input voltage. So the re red is the input voltage and the smooth input voltage. The blue one is all the time the current and the and the statistic current. So smoothed over over 20 uh, milliseconds approximately. And the orange one is the is the power in the in the in the recorder. And all this result is drawn over the over the uh, output power and we could already see here the efficiency this is the, the brown curve here uh, over the output power we could also see during recording that we have we have some issue here so the output could not be be controlled anymore why because the voltage drops out here because also we could see the input voltage here to our converter uh, drops out so we see that the that our source, our voltage source, is is too weak and already has dropped drop out. What I can also do during recording is I can grab my recorder, go back and analyze this data uh, during recording. Copy this to to clipboard. We we call this function déjà vu. So we could analyze also with with some cursor function already during during the recording and get here maximum and minimum function out of it. So let's go back disable and go back to the to the live view. Let's show here again one minute. So and at the at the at last page because during tests or at the report it is also important what what is the ripple frequency so when we would have a closer look into the time domain signal we, we could see voltage deviation and and current deviation this is here shown in a in a in a spectrum so here for analog output and the analog input this is a very clear picture because we have the possibility to average the spectra with an overlap function compared when i do not 
not uh, average it we get much much more noise and stochastic signals on on it that's why it is uh, recommended to also average to get a, a really uh, um, clear picture and with the cursor values we could here mark the harmonics and the superharmonics so we could see this for current and voltage but at the end now we we have recorded a few cycles now we need a report so i will now stop the recording and i will go to the uh, reload the the data file so this is our last file which we have recorded i will load this one so now we are in the in the analyze mode here there the recorded cycle so i can have a closer look i can zoom zoom in here and but at the end uh, we would like to have a, a report and to create maybe a pdf out of it for this one i would like to uh, use the included reporting ge reporting generator so let's zoom in here a little bit and i would like to create now of these three power cycles three xy diagrams showing the efficiency uh, over those uh, three cycles so i will now pick 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 up pick out one let's say the cycle in the middle i will go to the starting position you, you could see in the analyze when i slide with my orange cursor through the data all the instruments fft digital meter will follow but i will now go to the to the uh, beginning of this the first power cycle here we'll go to the xy diagram clear it and draw the 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 first uh, cycle here this is done so this is the first result i will now create the second page i will clone this one uh, here the orange cursor again indicates the start position for the second second power cycle I will again go to the to the xy diagram clear it it will start drawing here and i will now mark it should draw the second power cycle i will clone again my my report for the third page clear here and i will now in, in, include the, the the highest power cycle with the with the dropout uh, and so we you could see out of this we created now three uh, reports with three different power i can now save this inside the inside the uh, program inside oxygen and i could also now will create a pdf out of it so i will create these three pages and have a look you could see with a few clicks i could quickly create a report and here is the report of these five uh, of these three uh, pages. I, can, I will now go back, go back to Oxygen and also save it here. So in case you want to re reprint this, or I could also, I could also then uh, so zoom in here, and so that every every cycle is also shown here. But you could see uh, with a few clicks, I could. Uh, make the measurement we have here the our power for mathematic inside we have the input channels we have the formulas and we with the statistic filter functions we could quickly analyze and until till the the ready report with oxygen this was a small introduction how to do this one Thank you for your attention and see you at the next video.